one. Hello, and welcome to this week's Halloween edition of Lancers in the News. I'm Cristal Martinez. And I'm Ian Johnson. Seniors, start submitting your quotes on STS. They are due by Monday, November 23rd. The annual college night was this past week. Lance reporters Ryan Wynn and Olivia Garcia were on the site for the story. Hi, I'm Ryan Wynn, and on Monday night, my partner Olivia Garcia and I attended college night where there was over 80 major colleges and universities showcasing what their school has to offer. The night was open to all grade levels and everyone including their parents were encouraged to attend. We asked students how do you use college night to determine which college you want to apply to. Well it's a pretty great opportunity to figure out which one because um, I couldn't, can see which colleges are available for me to choose and where to apply because of that. Um, I like to compare like tuition costs and things so I can find like the cheapest college because you know don't got a lot of money so. Um, I look for a pristine location and uh, the major that I want. A cheap tuition. I look for somewhere with a fun environment and has like the best things I want to major. I look for a good environment, a four year college. In addition, we asked the college reps what things students should ask about their school that they're applying to. Um, so location, um, we're located in Honolulu, so we're a little bit more urban than people think. Um, definitely, they should also ask what kind of majors we have. So we're known for engineering, business, and marine biology. Um, Ooh, students should definitely ask um, what the college environment is like, what the actual students at the school they're looking at are actually like, um, you know, what opportunities they have for job experience and actually finding a job after they graduate. Might be a great college, but if you're not going to find a job after you graduate, is it really worth putting that money and time into your education? I'm Ryan Huynh reporting for the Lance. Lancers, to celebrate Halloween, Mr. Riggs will be blowing things up. Come to the quad at second break today to see for yourself. Today, there will be a fourth day reunion for all those who attended the October Kairos. This reunion will take place in room 103 during lunch. Grab your lunch and join us. Juniors, there are still spots available for the Emmaus on November 17th through 19th. Forms are available outside the campus ministry office. Financial assistance is available. Hey, Fandom Club members. We will have a Halloween meeting today after school in room 403. Please bring your $4 dues. Hope to see you there. Our fall production is two weeks from now. Lance reporters Juliana Angulo and Selena Navarro have the report. You think I don't know where you've been? Just to the movies, Mom. Movies! Next weekend, the Bishop of Mount Drama production will perform its annual fall show, Lost in Yonkers. This year, there are two new members in the drama club who will be in their first show. I'm Ivy Montes and I'm a freshman. I'm Ryan Stigman, and I'm a freshman. Why I do like acting and like being in front of people and like connecting with other people, and I love acting. The reason why I wanted to join the drama club is because I like to be someone else. I like to dress up and be on stage and be someone different. You'll give it to me in front of the boys. Give it to me now, Bella. When I'm dead, you can buy your own magazine. No, Mama, I won't. There are also several returning members, including Charlie Michael, who has been in the show for all four years. It's a little sad, it being my last year, but it's also really good because this is my favorite show so far. I like this character a lot, so it's a little bittersweet. Although business is good, I've had one minor setback. The Drama Club has a special message for the school. I'm Juliana Angulo, reporting for the Lions. If you know what's good for you, you're going to see Lost in Yonkers November 6th, 7th, and 8th. If you want to find the times, come see Miss Bussa and my crew here. We'll see you there. Seniors, the time has come to order your senior sweatshirts. You can get one, you can get your very own for the low, low cost of $25. The blank order forms are available outside room 205. The first round of orders need to be given directly to Mr. Nassant during the times indicated on the order forms by next Friday, November 6th. Attention all Barcada members. There will be a general meeting on Tuesday, November 3rd at lunch in room 501. New members are welcome. We will be collecting a $5 dues and we will be discussing new details and concepts for the club. The Lance has put together a, vis a video from Miss Golding who will be leaving on indefinite leave this week. This past week, Almont received the news that English teacher Mrs. Goulding is going on an indefinite leave of absence to be treated for brain cancer. I sat down with her to get some of her thoughts. 
thinking back, I think the first thing that drew me to Ahmad was, of course, his reputation and the fact that I, I felt I had a lot to offer in terms of what they needed in terms of a teacher. Honors, AP, and freshman comm students have fond memories of her class. Uh, so I had Mrs. Golding in Honors American Literature, and uh, one of my favorite memories of her was that she was so passionate about her books, and she loved her literature so dearly, and I admired that. It was really cool. At first, teaching at Alma was a challenge for Mrs. Golding. Um, I had never taught high school before. I had taught at uh, community college and at a Cal State, so it was really a challenge for me to get used to teaching to a younger level. But I think the, the energy and the vibrancy here at the school uh, definitely told me I'd made the right decision. I had Ms. Golding for freshman comp and for AP English uh, language. And first thing I think that she's a very unique English teacher. She had a fresh perspective on things and she wasn't just all about, you know, just work, work, work. You, she really was very personable. And I feel like the way that she expressed things was interesting and it wasn't, you know, it wasn't boring to be in her class, you know what I mean, like to listen to her speak and give lectures and stuff. So I really appreciated that she made uh, freshman year and junior year English uh, very, very enjoyable. Mrs. Goulding still feels like she has things to learn from other teachers. Coming here, I was immediately struck by not only the level of teaching, but the length of time uh, so many teachers have taught here and the, the quality of teaching here. I, I look even now to people like Mrs. Graff and Mr. Wolsey and Mrs. Gover and so many teachers that have devoted their life to teaching at this school. I had Miss Golden for Honors English last year and my favorite memory of her is just her saying this, that, and the other thing after almost every sentence and she has her little mug with it and it's just a great time. I have really enjoyed almost all my time here. It's been a very fast 14 years. Um, I feel I've, I've done a lot here. I feel I could do way more. I have every intention of coming back. We'll see what happens. There's a lot to be done, but I think as a whole, what teachers do is so important. We have such a such a fulfilling job, and um, I think most of us try to do it to the best of our abilities, and I will see you all later, I hope. Thank you and good luck, Ms. Golding. Thank you for watching this week's edition of Lancers in the News. Have, have a happy, happy Halloween! Halloween.